Alright guys, so I'm back again with a brand new video and this video is about these speakers right here which are the Joe and Tell speakers. These are actually going to Joe and Tell. Now these speakers were designed by Joe and I after some conversations about what he would like to see in a speaker. Now one of the things he said is I'd like some monitor speakers. Now monitors are not typical speakers in the essence that you don't hook them up with speaker wire, you're going to hook them up with RCA cables instead. So these are completely active and powered. Now the cool thing about this powered setup though is that it's a 2.1 setup, although it's, I guess it's really technically a 1.1 setup. And the reason why I say that is this has a subwoofer and these are also powered, but they're powered independently in the essence that you can control the volume of the top and the bottom independently. Now, why is that so cool? That means that you can add more bass if you want to or higher end if you want to. Now, the cool thing that I love about these speakers is that these speakers the entire crossover only cost one dollar and any single person that i know of could probably build these now if you use the crossover i'm going to get to the crossover well let's let's go to let's talk about that first now the reason why i it only took a one dollar crossover was actually quite simple because i used the lp 210 pa play amplifier it already has a variable crossover for the subwoofer and variable volume control for the subwoofer so I can independently control that. And because of that, I don't need a crossover for that, at least not a passive crossover. So that cuts out a huge expense in the crossover network. Now, the mid-range is actually a full-range driver. And the great thing about this is we picked out one that was going to cross over right about where the subwoofer is going to pick up. Not only that, the LP210PA has a high pass built in at 100 hertz, which is perfect for this setup. So you don't have to even worry about a crossover on the low end of that or the high pass on your mid range. So the only crossover you need is really this. And that's because this is just topping off this particular unit. And the reason why we only needed a $1 one is because we were able to take this tweeter, which is obviously stationary and on top, you can actually move it back and forth to be able to time align it. And I was able to time align this so that you only needed a really cheap crossover component. It's one capacitor actually, and it's only a dollar to do that. A great thing about this too, is I had just redesigned a voxel subwoofer front firing with very low port noise. And that's the exact same design that we used in this particular build. So it actually saved me a lot of time in the designing process. And he, I know that he's going to get some speakers that can hit bass really, really well without having to worry about that port noise. Now, the $1 capacitor does wire in line with the tweeter and that solders to the back of the amplifier. However, if you don't know how to solder or don't want to solder, you could leave these tweeters off. They're just topping off the, the very top of the high end and if you don't really want to do that, you could just do these and you wouldn't have to worry about soldering or a crossover. You just wanna wire those to a binding post that you'd put into the back of the speaker and then just run a small speaker wire between the binding post and the binding post of the LP210PA. When you do that, you'll have them wired and you won't have to solder at all. Now, I do think that these are considered a beginner speaker, not because of the sound quality, but because of the ease of use it is to build them. I mean, it really is simple to build. and I think any single person could actually build these with no problems at all. Now, I really enjoyed these in movies because I just love the amount of bass it put out. It was just awesome. Now, if you really want to know what these sound like, go ahead and check out Joe and Tell. He's going to do a review on these, and he usually does a sound test on these, so you can go ahead and get the sound test. I'm not doing that because he is. Now, if you have any questions, any comments, any concerns, leave them in the description down below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. It's 123Toy. I'm out.